Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sharon, if you're seeing me for the very first time, I make YouTube videos as a hobby. And if you're not seeing me for the first time, thank you so much for tuning into another one of my videos. That really means a lot to me. Like it really, really means a lot to me. <laughs> so the issue of why to study medicine is such a complex issue. It is highly debated and it is very controversial. There are a million and one videos on the internet telling you why you shouldn't study medicine. Don't study medicine for this reason. Don't study medicine if you're too this. Don't study medicine if you're too that. And I feel like there aren't enough videos telling you why you should actually study medicine. When I was in pre-med, I used to watch these videos all the time and it used to make me feel so anxious and it would honestly, it would stress me out because I fought strong in my conviction for why I wanted to study medicine and even then watching a video like that would completely demolish any sense of enthusiasm or confidence I had in myself to study medicine and I feel like why not do something about it myself and make this video so the concept of medicine why should you study medicine is particularly difficult because obviously as we know our course is one of many many trials and tribulations and um you're dealing with life and death and there's all these major factors to play into therefore the idea that you must go into it for the right reason is a valid idea it is good that we question this idea but at the same time we shouldn't gatekeep who gets to come into medical school and who doesn't get to come into medical school um, before we begin, I want to make a disclaimer that I am in my pre-clinical years. So um, actually my last semester before clinicals, next year I'm studying clinicals. So excited. And therefore my perception of medicine thus far is limited to the basic sciences. So maybe some of the things I'm saying might change once I start clinicals. If they do, I'll make a part two. But for the most part, I just wanted to make that disclaimer so that there's nobody who's gonna be like but sharon you don't really know how hard it gets i know how hard it's gotten this far and i just want to say like if this is as hard as it gets i'm sure it gets harder but like so far this is as hard as it gets there's no reason for us to be gatekeeping medicine the way we do there's really no reason so i'm gonna start by saying my reason for why i chose to study medicine so for me, I pretty much considered every career under the sun um, before I got to medicine. Medicine was like my last option and there's a reason for that. Every single career path that I considered had something lacking, there was something missing. And when I finally stumbled onto medicine, I was quite blown away. Like I hadn't considered this career path, but it's the one that had all the answers to everything I needed. For me, medicine is an amalgamation of all the basic principles it is a science it is an art and it is a commercial um, let me explain that it's an art form the process of practicing medicine is a beautiful art form um it's a science despite what anti-vaxxers will tell you it is a science get vaccinated and it obviously can be a commercial um, experience if you decide to have your own practice you know if you're in gynecology or if you're a general practitioner or any other field that allows you to have your own practice so you can commercialize off of that and have your own business what other career ticks all those boxes like seriously which other one so i was very excited about that and i was also excited about medicine being a meritocracy um medicine i feel is the only or one of the only careers that is still generally to its core a meritocracy and this is important for me because of where i'm located geopolitically um there is a lot of nepotism and a lot of you have to know this person and that person in order to get employed and i like the concept of medicine because at the end of the day you can't i want to choose my words carefully but you can't use connections to get a job as a doctor. I'm sure there is an element of that. However, like when it comes down to the core of it, you are either a doctor or you're not. Like you either graduated or you didn't. And that's something that I really particularly um, was drawn to because I want a job that will reward me based off of my own merit, not who do I know, who am I affiliated with, who knows whose uncles, whose brother, and I liked that. It's, it felt fair to me. It feels like a fair, plain 
slate and the last reason i would say that i always had an element of wanting to make an impact and a difference within southern africa particularly within my country of zimbabwe and that's why i chose that i want to study medicine so there's no other career that even came close to competing with those um, statistics so that was my reason and i'm only saying this to say that that's what keeps me going and also because of all these reasons i have grown to love medicine like i really genuinely love it i dedicated a whole youtube channel to it like i love it um however i don't want anyone to feel like your reasons for studying medicine are not good enough or and i also wanted to say it because there's a lot of people who feel the way that i feel in what i just expressed right now but cannot find the words to verbalize it so yeah you're welcome <laughs> So, like I said previously, there's a lot of videos that tell you why you shouldn't study medicine, what's a bad reason, etc, etc. And like I said, I believe that there is no real bad reason when you think about it. Well, I mean, there are terrible reasons and I'm not talking about the outliers of people who like want access to patients so they can do weird things. I'm talking about like, you know, people who are like, I want to help people or I love the sciences and things like that. I don't think those are bad reasons at all. And I think that every reason should be considered. So the way that medical school works in Zambia particularly is that, um, and I'm not going to speak for every Zambian institution, I'm going to speak for my school, is that getting into a medical school direct entry, you just need to pass pre-med. You pass pre-med, you get into medicine. Um, it's not a particularly difficult situation as opposed to other institutions like uh, the University of Botswana If you guys have watched my video for how I got into medical school Then you understand that it was extremely difficult to get in. They made the selection process Unbelievably difficult. I mean, it's like a thousand people in the 65 spots um, But my school doesn't do that. My school, you know, if from pre-med you pass you go through and um, That system seems fun and exciting and woohoo everybody gets in however it is a filtration system and they actually get selective down the line and that means for example in my class when we started we were i would say like 160 i'm not sure on the specific number 160 170 somewhere there and now we are 46 in my class and they use the filtration method which is basically um the course itself filters through um um particular individuals to go through to the next level and you know particular individuals have to repeat and i'm only mentioning this because I, I want to explain where i'm getting my reasoning from so i'm using my class as an example my classroom is very diverse like i said we started out 170 we're now 46 and it's certain characteristics that i'm noticing in my different classmates that i felt like i can share with you guys because for those of you who feel like mm, i don't think i can study medicine because of abc i want to prove you wrong and that's why i'm using my class as basic proof it is proof so my classroom has got people in their 40s and it has people in their 20s it has men it has women it has people from different socio-economical backgrounds people of different tribes it has short people and it has tall people and it has outspoken people and it has reserved introverted people um it has people who got really great marks in high school and people who didn't get that great of marks in high school it has it's a very diverse part and this is important and i'll get back to this point um so keep that in mind but let's just begin for those of you who are watching and you're not particularly sure if if you have what it takes to study medicine like you want to study medicine but you're not really sure if you have what it takes and this is i'm talking to you right now in this moment i'm talking to you um so the main reasons that people give for why they're scared of studying medicine despite having a passion for it despite really wanting to study it is because of the following reasons number one it's hard <laughs> uh that's what a lot of people say you know i've had people come to me and say sharon i really want to study medicine but i feel like it's really hard and um it's a lot of work which it is true it is really hard i'm actually currently about to start exams in like two days and i am freaking out because 
it's so much work um it's so much work i don't think that medicine is hard like the concepts are difficult the concepts are just bulky it's just a lot it's just so much information in such a short amount of time and you have to know it but guess what it's hard for everybody so for you who might be thinking um it's hard for me it's gonna be so hard yeah that's the point it's hard for you it's hard for me it's hard for the next person and i noticed this in my class for people who i particularly put on a pedestal and thought this person there's no way they can be struggling guess what they're struggling we're all struggling it's hard for everybody <laughs> that's part of the beauty of the course is that you know from pressure comes diamonds so if you want to study medicine that's another thing you have to consider is that it might be hard and it might be bulky and it's a lot of work but anything worth having it has never come easy so keep that in mind now number two People say that they don't feel that they're smart enough and this is a point that I want to seriously talk about there is no definite definition of what intelligence is a lot of people think that being intelligent being smart means that you got really good grades in high school you got good grades in primary you got good grades in a-levels that's not intelligence that's just an academic scale intelligence on its own is a very abstract concept it means that you're able to solve problems you're good at decision making you're good at solving problems and other abstract concepts that you cannot really measure on a scale the iq tests tries its best to measure it on a scale but even that has its own problems so when people come to me and they're like Sharon I want to study medicine but I feel like I'm not smart enough I actually had someone say that they think that they're dull no you're not if you wake up every day and you solve problems and you wake up and you know you have to decide make decisions and you have to make very important calls in your life then guess what you're intelligent and you have what it takes don't think that um, academic success is your only measurement of whether or not you are intelligent ergo whether or not you can make it into medical school. Now, academic success does play a role in terms of actually getting into pre-med so you can actually get into direct entry. Um, that is true. However, you just need to make it into pre-med. Like make it into pre-med and you will see. Because I know people that I've personally spoken to who have told me that in high school like it was booky for them. like. They don't even understand how they're passed and they are doing so well in medical school so definitely don't limit yourself because you feel like you're not intelligent enough intelligence is too complex to put into a single number so don't treat yourself like that don't play yourself like that another reason is that people are scared of blood i'm scared of blood i'm scared of cards and this is where the disclaimer comes in when i say that i haven't studied clinicals yet i am yet to experience patients coming in you know they're bleeding or they're in extreme amounts of pain um so far my only experience has been with cadavers and they're dead um they're very dead and our first experience meeting cadavers seeing them for the first time we were all shook apart from people who had seen them before obviously but for us seeing them for the first time it was a very like real experience it was an emotional experience because if you're a normal human being the thought of seeing you know a dead body is gonna shake you up unless you're like a sociopath or a psychopath i'm not sure which one is the correct term one of those unless you're one of those who like don't feel anything um okay but if you're like a normal human being you're going to feel you're gonna feel empathy you're gonna feel remorse and you're gonna be disgusted by certain things because some things is just your body's natural reaction and that is not a reason enough for you to stay away from studying medicine my mom always asks me like Sharon, are you sure you want to do medicine? Like you have to see blood and it's like, mom, <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> that's really nothing. And guess what? Now we go to UTH and we see the cadavers and it's nothing. Like afterwards I go and I have my little snack. I eat in the bus. I go home. I don't even think about it. Um, you get used to it. Humans have an incredible ability to get used to a lot of things. That's why we have so many genocides. And so what I do want to say about that is 
that shouldn't if that's your biggest reason then it's nothing it's absolutely nothing now on the other side if you're like the type of person who faints when you see blood um then i don't know like honestly in that point like i'm not an expert i don't know <laughs> but like if you see blood and it makes you squeamish and you're like hey injections that's normal that's like normal human response like that should not be your only reason i would not allow you to have that as your only reason for why you're not going to do medicine no ways no ways come up with a better reason <laughs> And then the fourth reason which is very valid is that there is lack of representation so this is mostly common for women or people from social economic backgrounds that are not represented enough in the world of medicine as well as people from different tribes or race or ethnicity depending on where you're watching this video from or which factor is the biggest if you are a minority in your country in your area and you never see anyone from your specific subgroup um represented in the world of medicine then obviously you're gonna have some type of imposter syndrome or you're gonna feel like you can't do it you know i have a friend who was telling me that she never actually considered studying medicine because she just never saw like herself in a white coat like she could not visualize herself and that's why it's so important that we have representation representation is so important in the world of medicine because if you can't visualize yourself in a white coat how can you even begin to dream about it you know how can you dream about yourself being in a position where you can't even begin to think of yourself in that position you know what i mean even for me like i didn't know any actual doctors in my life so i didn't have anyone to compare it with so yeah i didn't have anyone to compare myself with in that situation so that was very difficult for me but i had to overcome it because if i hadn't overcome that then i wouldn't be here studying medicine and like you guys like i really love medicine so much even the way i talk about it i'm like medicine <laughs> okay with that being said i have noticed the actual characteristics of people in my class who are able to make it uh, and are successful in terms of their academic performance and basically haven't been kicked out of class yet um, hopefully I don't get um, held back behind um, because I've made it this far and it would be so sad and I'll cry I will cry actual tears if I don't make it to clinicals next year um, like I'll actually cry you guys like tears but um, from the people in my class and what I've been observing and the characteristics that they do have that have brought them to this position where they're able to continue um, their path in medicine is that they have most of these following characteristics. Number one, they are disciplined. Number two, they are hardworking. Number three, they're consistent. Number four, they're driven. Number five, they're ambitious. And number six, they are responsible. And nowhere on this list did I say that they are a man or they are a woman or that they are, you know, rich or poor or they had really good guys in high school or, you know, whatever or they dress decently or they dress whatever or that, you know, they have dreadlocks, they don't have dreadlocks or that they drink every weekend or they don't drink every weekend because all those factors are ultimately irrelevant. And these factors, being disciplined, being hardworking, knows no gender, it knows no race, it knows no ethnicity, it knows no tribe, and it knows no socioeconomic status. Now, when I talk about socioeconomic status, I am keeping in mind that there are people who truly would love to make it, but because of their circumstances, cannot find someone to sponsor them. For those people, that is extremely sad, that's a terrible situation, and um, that is not the group of people I'm talking about when I say socioeconomic status. Perhaps you come um, from a certain household where the income is enough for you to get into medical school, but for you, you think like you need to have the latest everything in order to be able to be successful and that is so to us a lot a lot of um, medical youtubers you know they have you know macbooks and ipads and i thought that i needed to have all of that in order to have the best optimum experience and those do aid to your ability to perform that is true it is a bit of a cheat code it's a privilege but you can do it without that like you can just make it without that so let's keep that in mind and 
these are the factors that you need to be successful you need to be driven you need to be consistent you need to be responsible what you do in your spare time is honestly up to you that's your business but if you're consistent you're driven you're hard working um yeah you can make it and when i say consistent and driven please i don't mean that you have to be studying every single hour of the day you don't have to have a life like medicine should be your whole life you don't have to sacrifice your 20s you really you're not sacrificing your, your 20s but um just you know like knowing what's important at the end of the day don't lose sight of the goal and the goal is that degree bagging that degree and whatever your reason for wanting to study medicine honestly it's valid and it's good enough and obviously the biggest reason people want to say is money like money money is an important reason like people are like if you want the money like it's an important reason you know you want to be able to get into this profession knowing that you're about to put everything on the line um risk everything you love and care about you know your mental health um i am going to make a video about that by the way but it's a lot and you want to make sure that there is a financial payoff and that's an absolutely valid reason you don't want to be doing all of this and they and you're not going to be financially stable in your career so for those of you who want to do medicine for the money ah that's a financially stable enough reason of course i would hope that the reason is not just finances because like people have said it's just easier ways to make money bro <laughs> there are easier ways to make money but it is important to know that you are sacrificing so much of your time your work your energy um and that you're gonna be compensated for it so that is absolutely important so that is the video i just wanted to make this video for people who feel like they want to do medicine but you're not sure like me ah, i could never it could never be me yes it can Yes, it can. Yes, it can be you. Nothing is stopping you from being you. If you have the resources, you have someone willing to sponsor you, go and apply. This is your sign from the universe. I don't know what you believe in, but whatever you believe in, this is your sign to go and apply for medical school. Whichever medical school you want to apply to. It doesn't have to be universe. It can be anything. Um, and if those of you are watching from different countries, if you are in whatever part of the world go and apply in your part of the world the world needs more doctors especially third world countries we need all the doctors we can get so go and apply go go right now <laughs> i'm joking um so that's the video i hope you guys learned something from this video i hope that you come out of it feeling motivated and empowered and um ready and excited and enthusiastic about medicine so um thank you so much for watching this video if you go to the end of this video please 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 subscribe it means a lot to me when you subscribe um it means a lot to the algorithm as well if you like this video and turn on your notification bell if you want to know every single time i upload new content so um thank you so much for watching and getting to the end of this video and always feel free to dm me especially on instagram i am very active on instagram so definitely feel free to dm me or email me i will respond uh thank you so much for watching bye